this is the place here. Yeah. Have a look at this. So the ladies is telling us the process now on what to do. I think you can add the salt and soft serve stuff to the cookies as well. Have a suck of that. And pink bubble gum. Craziest thing I've ever tasted. Craziest thing. I never expected to eat a cookie like this. We're back for another episode of Shaw Lee Tarts. We're here at Northcote, about a seven kilometer drive northeast from the central business district of Melbourne. We're going to a place called the Cookie Dough Co. Established in 2019 and heavily influenced by the New York cookie scene. I've heard a lot of good things about this place and I look forward to trying it. I'll show you around as well, Northcote. It's very similar to, you know, the areas of Brunswick, Fitzroy, some of the places I've been to already on Lens on the Street. Anyway, so we're walking to the place now. And when we get there, I will uh, see if I can continue filming inside the shop. It just depends on how busy it is in there and if it's, you know, they feel comfortable and whatnot. But we'll see how we go. You can see the place now. This is further up here. It's uh, got a pink uh, facade and whatnot going on. Today's a public holiday here in Melbourne. King's birthday. So if people are still sleeping, to get a perspective, it's uh, not even 11 o'clock yet. It's uh, 10.45. So we'll see how we go. It is here. This is the place here. Wow. Have a look at this. So the ladies is telling us the process now on what to do. I think you can add the salt and soft serve stuff to the cookies as well. Wow. So we're gonna place an order now, I'm gonna pick something. I have no idea what I'm going to pick. So I just got the Cookie Monster. It's loaded with M&Ms, Oreo cookies, everything like that. And what they do is they warm it up in the microwave. And then you can load it up with anything you want from toppings that I showed you, ice cream, everything like that. I cannot wait to try this. Uh, so surely this. I have a suck of that. What is crush beer score? Get the peanuts, surely. Where's the pistachio? Now we're coming over here. Vanilla. And pink bubble gum. Wow. The here is the pistachio.
We are on. We are on. Have a look at that. Wow. Now that's a cookie. A lot of combinations going on there. Bubblegum ice cream, vanilla pistachio. Who cares? We'll see how we go. I'm sure it's going to be mad. Now he's got to find a ledge or somewhere to put you guys on. So then uh, we can do a taste test. I think I see something over here. Just across the road. I think this spot right here could be perfect. Okay, moment of truth. Wow. Craziest thing I've ever tasted. Craziest thing. I never expected to eat a cookie like this. I know it's hard to tell because I've got a lot of things going on on the top of the cookie, but the cookie is just so soft. It just breaks away as soon as you put the spoon through it. I mean, some of that may have been to do with, so some of that maybe has got to do with her warming it up in the microwave, the lady behind the counter. But man, so moist. Wow. What a place. And that bubblegum ice cream tastes exactly like strawberry or bubblegum. It's insane. Like a hubba bubba. Just don't eat it too fast or you're going to get a brain freeze. But what I will say is, these wooden spoons are garbage, they're poo. Why have we got wooden spoons? Seriously. Well, you can't have plastic. Anyway. Have a sauce of that. Wow. The wooden spoon just broke. Anyway. After I finish um, eating this co um, cookie, we'll have a walk around and I'll show you a little bit of North and see what it, show you what it has to offer. But before I go, I just want to say if you're in the area or if you you know live close by or you plan on coming here, check it out. You won't be disappointed. One thing I want to mention too is that everything is done by weight at this place here so whatever whatever toppings that you put on top of the cookie from soft serve to lollies all the things that i've shown you in this video it, it it adds up it adds up so just be careful be mindful um to what you put on your cookie because you get charged by the weight so you can see here there's a perfect shove inside the cookie on how moist it is inside wow And that pistachio, bro, pistachio goes with everything. Give me the whole bottle, I don't care. Bro, I'll smash it. Pistachio and desserts, tick from me. Just finished up. Wow. So full. Really filling. That's probably because I went overboard with the toppings that I went on the, on the cookie, but anyway. So I was going to go find a bin and um, put this in the bin over here. And have a look at this, just quickly. How talented people are here, being able to do this bird mural on this wall. Galaz or something like that, it looks like. Crazy. Some pretty cool graffiti spots here that I randomly seen as well. So we'll just go back, go for a walk, 
and show you a little, a little bit around North Cape yeah, before we wrap up this episode. So this is their thoroughfare, the main strip of Northcote. Um, so you have a lot of, you know, shops, cafes, and whatnot around here. Tattoo parlors, some cool places that you'll find just randomly walking by here. I think I may come by some graffiti art over here that I can see. Check it out. Have a look at this. Wow. So that's what I find cool about these areas. Living around here, not only are you close to the city, you've got mad restaurants, crazy cafes, you know, little offshoots. You can see here, you know, people's houses where they live. Imagine waking up in the morning, going to get a coffee, cookie, whatever it may be, and just being close to everything, being central. Really, really cool. All right, we're gonna cross the, we're gonna cross the road. Yeah. Now? Um, yeah, we're gonna cross the road and we're gonna walk up the opposite way. So let's cross the road now and try not to get run over. Walk up here quickly. Let's see if we see anything. What a day today is too. Mind you, today is winter here. Winter here and the day is booming. Sun out mad. What's this place here? Looks like an outdoor pub, bar type thing going on. Got a beer garden. Mad. Food trucks looks like could be over here too. Crazy. I think it could be food trucks here. Oh wow. Check out the graffiti art over here. Yeah, it looks like food trucks over here. It's a bit early in the day, so that's hence why there's no one around. But yeah, we'll check this out over here. Northcote's mad. Northcote is mad. Definitely come down here and check it out. I'm assuming at night time this place is going off. I've never been here at night. But I definitely have to come and check it out. Burger joint. Like I said, I think that was a beer garden over there. This Mexican food truck over here looks mad. Oh, we're going to start walking back up now. Past the food truck and beer gardens just so you know as well it looks like if you look at the sign over here i don't know if you can see it um there's an arcade in there beer gardens food trucks um everything going on and the trading hours for this as well you can see here starts at 5 p.m um monday to friday and saturday is 12 p.m too late on a saturday and 12 p.m to 8 30 p.m on a sunday so yeah definitely something to check out if you're in the area it looks really really cool I don't know if you can see through here, even in the glass, you can see the brewery type stuff there where they're doing the beers and whatnot and the alcohol. Really, really cool. I don't know if you can see through the glass, the reflection going on. But yeah, definitely something to check out if you're in the area or you're planning on coming here. Some really cool things. Anyways, that wraps up today's episode, today's festivities, sabbaticals, whatever you want to call it. I hope you stuck around. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up, hit that little bell, 
subscribe to your boy, support your boy. Help me continue doing what I love to do by bringing this content to you guys. I'll see you on the next. Later.